Delhi versus the Ardamans. This is an interesting one. Normally I would have opened up with a um, military school. It's kind of nice to get it going at ASAP, but in fact I should have done. We'll do it. It's going to be a bit later than normal, but alas. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, team. <laughs> yeah, it's always a pleasure streaming for you guys, man. Oh, I'm little boys, so, uh... I can hear him in the distance with his mama. He's not feeling well. Uh, I mean, I'm... <coughs> it's quite, um... Like, I'm decently warm and stuff. It's not a, uh... It's not that kind of issue. Ukic with the three months in advance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas. Yeah, the reason I wanted to get a Spearman out early against Delhi is purely to harass his gold. And then you've got the situation of how does a Delhi player deal with that? If you went for Tower of Victory, you need the gold really bad because your scholars will be 150 gold, not 90. And secondly, do you want to bring out a scholar to do the repairing? Kind of not. Because if you bring a scholar out to do repairing, that's a whole different bag of worms. You might be like, huh? What kind of worms, Benny? Just slows down all your tech, all your eco upgrades, all those kind of things. Now, I do apologize about sounding probably a bit gross. Uh, I had a shower this morning. I've uh, showered and cleaned and all that. <clears throat> Just because I knew I sounded, well, I felt gross, you know. Good luck. Have fun. Who's Captain Careful? Is it State? Good luck. Have fun. Aha, cool, 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 cool. Okay, then he's, he's, it's a good player that I'm against. Very good player. That's obviously not the biggest deal in the world, what we've done thus far. It's literally just a case of slowing him down a tiny smidge. Oh, 
So any time spent chasing the spearman is time not uh, gathering, right? That's all we're going for with that. Nothing crazy. Slightly more to that side. Nothing too crazy thus far. Nothing too crazy thus far. Ooh, that could be a nice spot to go and uh, harass, eh? And we'll take those guys off there. <laughs> very red t my t-shirt is very red yes that is it. there is no denying that one oh that's uh that's a good amount of stuff really done. Okay, yeah, this didn't go very well. Oh, 
Bilal Ü, kamu bir yolu. Mehter hazır. Anı tut, aktı kandı. Şiverlendik. Siz. Amaç vaktini durun. Anı tut. So I'm obviously trying to put on a lot of pressure here. And we're getting up to our power spike now, which is taking a bit of time. It's taking a bit of time, but uh, we've made it, we've made it. So what are the, some of the reasons that it took quite so long for this to come online for me? Well, <laughs> one, I saw this stable, but I also didn't really interpret how many units were going to pop out of there. Which was a lot. The elephant's got a pretty big nerf, but on health wise and whatnot, so. They're not necessarily the uh, the go-to at the moment. All right, so this is where he was getting a lot of his food, and I mean, Mami here isn't great by any means. Uh, about 12:37. He's got no upgrade, so he skipped out the blacksmith. So he pumped, he wanted to pump out a lot of units very quickly. Now his army is there. We'll send another army over there to the other side of the map. And this main army of ours is probably going to get cleaned up at some point. Hmm. We'll have to see. Alright, now we can produce men at arms. That's a big deal. Janissaries to deal with the um, the men at arms to some extent, right? Go for the melee armor. So now our units have a lot of armor. And we'll also get a Imperial Armory team. Oh, 
I think he's going to be low on um, quite a few resources, maybe. When he sees I'm uh, tech up though, that's going to be a big like, oh, you're in that position. It's interesting. So what we're trying to go for here? Just getting um, upgraded archers because we already have a lot of archers, and we're going for um. You just think about what I'm saying. Upgraded archers and crossbowmen. Two absolute legends of the game, right? I don't really want to guess his supply because I'm going to guess it's very, uh, very low compared to ours. Oh, he's got a freaking mango boy. Okay, I didn't expect the mango. I'll be super honest. We have with crossbowmen. Let's try out some resources. Lots of walls. Alright team, so as we're kind of approaching this stage of the game, I assume we just, no, probably can't smack a little dude. But. Okay, 
Oh, he's actually walling and stuff. Okay. I think we've got him here. I think so. We are using we used our mango to take down uh, a lot of his stuff. And I'll probably lose these crossbows, but not without trading really well. You know. Oh shit! Oh, that was bad. I was like, where's my food? And it's gone. All gone. This is where we're going to do some... Uh... Okay, I was going to say do some catching up eco-wise, because... Me losing, um, me losing wooden shoe. Thank you for the nine months, by the way. Me losing that many workers, because I'm guessing I lost a good 20 or so workers here. 20 or so. So it's definitely a lot of losses, but I think overall we're still in fantastic worker shape. So yeah, I lost a good 20 or so. So that was really bad, but we were killing workers the whole time. And we had more eco along with military schools, so we were definitely in very good shape. 